Hi everybody, I'm Chuck Baumgartner. I'm the Director of Transportation. I'm charging all of the buses. Uh, today I'm going to read from The Adventures of South Pole Pig. And I'm going to read Chapter 5. After breakfast, Flora gathered the piglets together to announce a new game. It's called Cats and Rats. Yay, her brothers are cheered. Who wants to be a rat? The cheering stopped. Flora, came a warning. Flora glanced around to see her mother rubbing her shoulder against the fence post. She wasn't looking at her children, but clearly she was paying attention. Flora turned back to her brothers. Good news, everyone, she said. In this game, nobody has to be a rat. Her brothers cheered again. Okay, you cats. Flora's eyes swept the ground on either side of her. We need to look for a rat substitute. In a moment, she had two substitute imitations. One half an orange with all the juice squeezed out, and the other was a balled up paper bag. Flora decided to use the paper bag first and nosed it into the center of the piglets. Stand clear, she commanded, backing up a few steps and then crouching into her, onto her belly. Watch and learn, and when I give the signal, say, rats in the rigging, time to tangle. Flora, Flora crept forward, making it every effort to stay very low. This wasn't easy as Luna made it look. Flora's legs dragged on the ground instead of stepping cleanly. She managed to stay down. Now, she said, rats in the rigging, time to tangle, the piglets chanted. Flora concentrated on making her tail twitch and hoped that it was working, even though she couldn't see. She drew a few steps closer, and then gathered her legs under her. Flora sprang forward and leaped on the paper bag. It made a, a satisfying loud crunch as she stumped it into the ground with her hooves. Her brothers cheered then. Under Flora's watchful eye, they tried their own rat attack styles until the paper bag was tattered mess and no longer crunched at all. All right, Flora announced, time for rat number two. Unbelievably, the others were already tired. As she watched, they flopped down against one another for their morning nap. Well, she didn't need them to practice. Flora crouched and attacked. The orange peel flipped and rolled towards the fence. Flora charged again and missed. Her shoulder smacked against the lowest board. Ow! But wait, that was cracking sound that she heard. What was that cracking sound she heard? She looked around to make sure the piglets hadn't stirred. The mother was asleep too. Flora leaned against the fence board again. It moved under her weight. She pressed forward. The board gave a soft wooden creak and then parted into two pieces. She slipped through until her head was free, then carefully and quietly crawled all the way out. Flora looked around. She was standing near the junk heap. There was the broken wheelbarrow. There was the broken tools and the chicken wire. She had escaped the pig pen at last. Well, that's the end of chapter five. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. I look forward to seeing what's gonna happen next.